I'd give myself more time if I could, but anyway, good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terry Quattuor. Welcome to Monday, Monday, August 26, 2024, and it's day 239. I apologize for my rushness, but, uh, well, I was the idiot who completely forgot to charge all of their tracking and controllers. So one of my trackers is very, very low, and it's uh, starting to beep, uh, well, it beeped at me before I got this started, so... All of my stuff needs charging because I completely forgot, but I did have Sweet Pea and Lilia hanging out in here, and if Sweet Pea's in here, I can't use any of my chargers because then she'll just grab at everything. You know, toddler stuff. So, I suppose that means when I'm done here, I'll have to go ahead and try to charge them, so I apologize for that. Another weird thing, though, is I found a dead red wasp uh, near my bedroom window. I don't know how it got in here. I'm looking for any possible entry points because, you know, red wasps are a paper wasp, which means if you have a house that has any wood or anything like that, it will burrow. They will. But I haven't found any entry points, so maybe it was just a one-off. Maybe it got in when a door was open or something. I'm not entirely sure. No clue whatsoever, but that is uh, worrying. But it was just the one, and it, and it was... Uh, I don't remember seeing it yesterday. That's the other part. I don't. I, I do not remember seeing it there yesterday when I was setting up for Tessa. So maybe maybe he got in through the front door or something, and you know went over there and went and died or something. Uh, that's that's my hope at least. But I had a whole bunch of ideas of what I was going to talk about today. Well, I didn't have a bunch of ideas. I just had a few, and they're eluding me right now, so I apologize. I think really what's throwing me off is just how little power I have on my controllers and trackers. I really screwed the pooch on that one, so <laughs> my bad. Uh, Buttercup's day at school was just plain and simple. Um, I, I, did, I, I, I talked with Lilia, and I talked with the family. And we signed the permission slip for her to audition for the honor choir again this year. So hopefully she gets in. We'll see. <sighs> that should be an interesting endeavor. Though this time I would like this year to be more successful with it than it was last year. Being there were too many things that came up last year. And I'd like to, I'd like there to be a change to that this year. She's already like she's barely been in a few weeks, like a couple weeks. And she's already almost missed a day because of everything that goes on with the extended family. She's already almost missed a day, so I'm I'm wondering if we're going to have to find out if any bus services have extended out to our area this year or not. Cuz when she first started school, none of the not even like no school would go to our specific area of the city for some reason. Not entirely sure why, but hopefully this year is different. But we'll have to wait and see. Outside of that, uh, I did try. I did play some Genshin Impact just to get that out of the way. I understand. I am definitely feeling the burnout, but I'm trying to get my secondary account a little more prepared for it, or you know, Tessa's account really. I'm trying to get it more prepared for the Notland region because she has no characters that are above level 80, and a lot of a lot of the gear is ill prepared. <sighs> It's going to be a hassle if she gets up, if her adventure rank gets any higher with the position she's in. Because once she hits AR-55, everything bumps up automatically. And when it bumps up, that means that everything's going to be above her difficulty level. Or, you know, ab above her character's level and everything like that. Because she has no shield characters. None. We tried to get her, we tried to get her one. But she got everything on that banner except for the shielder she wanted. Go figure. So hopefully there will be a, a decent change of pace in terms of that terrible luck she's had with shielders. <sighs> Trying. But uh, there's there's not a whole lot other than, you know, that we didn't I did not go out and do the the photography last night we all got too tired too distracted and we're, we're just trying to keep things as streamlined as possible for this week keep them mellow because we're kind of end of the month is always difficult when it comes to supplies so you kind of just really ration them out after a while 
and we're we're in the, we're in the definite we're we've been rationing, and the rations have to be even more careful until you know payday on Friday. It shouldn't be that bad, right? Oh, it's been awful. <laughs> I do wish that there was more lighting here, but there's not. I can't complain about it though. Wait, I did complain about it. Whoops. But um, what I'm really trying to think about, because I know I talked about the wasp, but what else was it I was going to talk about? That's what I can't remember. <sighs> Man. Th this is this is going to really bug me. Like I, I had there was a, like a topic that I could go on about. But what was it? I blame I blame the wasp that was down over there in my. It it was at, it was at my the wall trim right by the window it was right there and I was like oh hey look at that and still I can't figure out what I wanted to talk about so um sorry I I guess what I should do uh, minus the well the combination of I can't remember what I wanted to talk about my controllers and trackers are dying I don't want my elbow to all of a sudden just like fly off into the abyss or something like that. I think they said they did some changes with that, though. What were they? I uh, Something like, uh, well, maybe, maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's the lull in between major, it, it, the lull in between events, because on top of that, once September starts on Saturday, was it Saturday or is it Sunday? I think it's Sunday. So Saturday, September starts on Sunday, and that's when we need to start preparing for Buttercup and Sweet Pea's birthdays. Because remember, Buttercup is on the 13th, Sweet Pea is on the 14th. That should be fun. Actually, she'll be, it'll be it'll be just fine. Although I think Buttercup said she wanted to have a, I think she said she wanted to have a pie this year. I think. I'll have to ask her again. I think she said she wanted a pie, and um. She did tell us what she wants for her birthday. She wants to have a Minecraft sniffer plush. Of course, if I do that, I'm pr like I'd be so tempted to commission my um, friend Misty Paws to uh, like send him one of those you know like button press voice box things just for him to say let me sniff and then put it in the sniffer. But that that would be more a joke between. Misty Paws, Lily, and myself, it wouldn't be much of a joke for Buttercup, who'd be utterly confused. Could you blame her? Uh, as for Sweet Pea, she's gonna be three. So the question is, what does she age up into that she'd be able to play with that interests her? Because she keeps trying to take the Nintendo Switch. And anything that belongs to her sister. As for her toys, she seldom plays with them. So it's a matter of we'll f we'll figure it out as as the the next you know three weeks go by we'll we'll have it figured out by then, but going anywhere is probably out of the question this year because last year we took Buttercup over to a place called LOL. It's like a how do I describe it? It's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese but only better. But at the same time. When we went there last year, it was absolutely run down. Like, they do not maintain any of their equipment, so about two-thirds of the machines were turned off because they were inoperable, and then the rest of the machines they did have on were constantly breaking. So the, it was not a fun experience last time. So we probably won't go there this year purely because of that so i'll have to come up with something for them to do i'm i'm up for ideas but it has to be something feasible because we have a very small budget and it's a matter of if that amenity is here so whatever's feasible for us i i'm i'm up for suggestions i'm i mean i i could do a baking session with them Buttercup loves learning to bake with me, so there is that. I could do, could do a chocolate fountain. We could do a chocolate fountain, but I can't give a guarantee on that one. And I can't say it too loud because then she'll demand it. And if I do a chocolate fountain, 
I'd be really tempted to put capsaicin oil inside of it. But that would be for me, not them. I wouldn't do that to my kids. No. Anyway, I, 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 um, I can't keep it any longer. This, this thing is now in the complete red. <sighs> Sorry, but yeah, I'll leave it here. Um, thanks for letting me rant with you guys. This is Terra Quator on Monday, August 26th, 2024, day 239. Please tell me I said 239, or am I going to have to put a, a bleep in there, like mute that bit so everyone knows it's actually 239. But it's day 239, and uh, yeah, I'm going to say um a lot because I still haven't remembered what I wanted to talk about. So I'm just going to leave it there, and we'll see you all tomorrow on Tuesday. See you around, everyone.